Hello and welcome! Hi Gatsby! I hear it's your birthday today. We're gonna be making something special for you, huh? We're gonna be doing it Japanese, Benihana style, dog friendly. This is your first time here? We have over here some Angus beef ribeye. We'll start off by greasing the skillet with some of the beef fat. We also have some choice beef chicken tenders and some Berkshire boneless pork loins. What would you like to start with, Gatsby? Maybe we'll start with some of the thinner meat, the New York Sukiyaki choice beef. This beef is sliced very thin, so it'll cook very fast. Perfect for corgis. How do you like your meat, Gatsby? Medium rare? I'll slice it up into bite-sized chunks. There's his meat. We'll need to cool it down before you can have some, though. Oh, go. How was that? There you go. Enjoy. Next one. Are you ready for your chicken tender? Oh, look at that. Since this is a non-stick, we're not going to cut on top of it. We're gonna just take it off and I'll, I'll bring it back. There you go. Here you go. Are you ready for your pork tenderloin? Okay, here we go. This one is sliced yakiniku style. Perfect, since that's what we're doing. I'll throw on some Benihana staples, zucchini, and bell peppers, along with some more beef fat to help season and cook better. I cut the pork into small bite-sized pieces and make sure it's cooked through. Is this fun, Gatsby? Are you having a good time? <laughs> Look at that steak, Gatsby. I'm gonna make you the epic Benihana plate. Right, these are done. Ta-da! Benihana style teppanyaki. Are you ready, Gatsby? What did you think, Gatsby? That concludes our meal, Gatsby. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy birthday, dude! Yay! Good job, Gatsby! Congratulations, you made it to 10! Okay, is it time for us to start our video? Who's that wonderful corgi? Could he be any cuter? Good morning, Gatsby! <laughs> Happy birthday, Gatsby! Your 10th birthday, you made it! <laughs>
Oh my gosh, Gatsby, look at all this artwork. Can you spot where Gatsby's hiding in these next three scenes? Let me know in the comments below if you spot him. Let's get to it. Scene one, can you spot the corgi? Here's scene two, do you see him? Write it in the comments below. And finally, scene three, where is Gatsby hiding? He's there. Can you spot him? So, did you find him? Gatsby, you did such a good job at hiding! Mm For Gatsby's birthday, we have all of the self-care appointments for him. We have appointments with the chiropractor, and then right after that, we're gonna go and do the acupuncture. I got you a, a Gatsby's cushion. Oh. Oh, <laughs> fabulous. He's doing great, it looks like. Yeah. Yes, hi, honey. Buddy. Now it's time for us to get Gatsby's acupuncture done. A little tickle. Oh! Right. The very last one. Good Goodbye. job. Goodbye. Well done. Thank you. He's like super relaxed now. Yeah, look. Gatsby, you did it! Are you all relaxed now? Have you guys gotten our Corgi on Fleek 2024 calendar yet? It's a pretty good time to get one. It's the beginning of the year. I thought I would share with you guys a behind the scenes look at how we shot this photo here. See all the tennis balls in this shot? We've done so many tennis ball shots in the previous calendars, but this one I thought would be a little bit different because I wanted to be able to follow the line of tennis balls wherever they were bouncing. That requires a camera with a super high shutter speed. We took Gatsby's shot first. He actually jumped for some treats and I just stood in front of him so he was able to hit his mark. We got that, and then next it was time for me to throw the tennis ball. So I had to throw it from all different heights and all different locations. I just had Koki tell me where to stand. This whole thing was taken with one tennis ball. <laughs> it was only one. I just threw it so many times. Where's the line that I really liked? Oh, this one right here. See this line here? I actually threw that that high. We got it to bounce like that. And that's a behind the scenes look at our 2024 calendar. Make sure to grab one soon. We also have some new merchandise coming up. I think something is going to be arriving today. I just got them in. Here's one of our new colors. It's like a dark burgundy. It says Corgi in Japanese. These were like my most popular t-shirt ever. We brought back the heavy metal color, which is like this gray. Another thing that's gonna be coming soon, as I mentioned in the last video, is the new plushes that I've been working on since the summertime. It is the Spluting Corgi plush. He has a little bit of beans inside so that he like lays perfectly flat. So you can get both of them. They'll be available very soon. And then other than that, the new cushion. This is our embroidered cushion. They're now available in the store. We have the ball launcher right over here. This is the daytime cushion and this is the nighttime cushion. As you can see the sun, this one has the moon. And the final thing that's back in stock, 
the liquid paperweight. These sell out so fast each time I restock it. So right now it is back in stock. If you didn't get one for Christmas, it makes a great Valentine's Day gift. If you really enjoy our videos and want to support Gatsby and me, make sure to go to corgionfleek.com at the end of the video. Let's continue on with the vlog. These are really smelly fish treats. So we're gonna hide them and have Gatsby find them. I'm assuming these are for your birthday. Should we open them? Guess we just came all the way from Canada. Oh, it's Christmas stuff still. Finn, Wilbur, and Chan. It's a dog toy. I thought this was like, it looks like a slipper. Right. Wishing you a wonderful year full of adventures with Ryan. Fun walkies and lots of delicious cow cow. Aloha. Pua snuffle mat for dogs. Oh, it's a snuffle mat. Oh, it's a beach themed one. Starfish, and then you can put little treats inside. We'll try it later, okay? Cutter from Shreveport, Louisiana. It's inside of here. It's a giant donut! Ready? Go! Oh my gosh. Happy 10th birthday to Gatsby from Connor! Lifesaver gummies. Mmm, they're so good! That. Go! Whoa! Oh my gosh, Gatsby. He is for sure feeling really good after that um, the adjustment. Should we try the snuffle mat out? The whole point is just supposed to take the treats and then hide them in little areas of the snuffle mat. If he flips it over, it's all gonna come pouring out. I already know. Three, two, one. Snuffle! Snuffle, snuffle, snuffle! <laughs> there he goes, he's snuffling. Ooh. I want to thank you guys so much for sending Gatsby some wonderful birthday gifts. We're so fortunate to have such wonderful fans like you guys. Oh, look at that! Gatsby, I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Happy 10th birthday once more. Congratulations for making it this far, dude. I'm so happy you're still with me, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for us for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna wish everyone a happy, happy new year. <laughs> I hope 2024 is a way better year. Yeah? Make sure to go to corgionfleek.com to grab some of our merchandise. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Good night. Hey guys, you check out this awesome band! So this is my senior Corgi Gatsby. This year we have gone through quite a lot. He's doing very well right now. I thought 